Hi guys, today we'll be showing you 9 best Mac apps as of May 2017. Unfortunately, these apps are paid apps, but they are the best apps in terms of usability, user interface, and performances. For testing purposes, I have included the link to a website to download these apps for free. However, if you like any app, please purchase it genuinely from the app store or from the official websites of the app. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. App number one is called Fox. It is a download manager for macOS. This app is the all-in-one download manager app. It can download YouTube videos at whatever video quality you want. It can also replace uTorrent app by downloading any uTorrent link that you have quickly. It can also download any file from its download URL. So let me show you with the, the YouTube download. So you just go to YouTube, like I have this video. No, babe. Just copy the link. And you can either paste here or click this plus sign to add. And here, the quality, you can choose the one that you like. And because this video only support 1080p, just like that. Some videos support up to 4K or something. It will show you the quality here, the video quality. Just select the one that you like, click OK. Now we start downloading. And again, the speed is, it won't limit the speed. You can see down here unlimited if you want to limit the speed you can select the speed that you want to limit to but if you don't it will download at full speed so this is downloading youtube video it's very convenient for some apps when you want to download youtube video it won't download at full hd which means you don't have a lot of choices to download video quality sometimes you can choose only 1080p but this app will give you whatever video quality from youtube if that youtube video is a 4k video it also allows you to download 4k video that is download YouTube video. If you have a uTorrent video link, get that link, put it here, and it will start downloading automatically. For example, we go to this website, like I have this one. If you click get this torrent, it will automatically select this app for you. Fox, just allow, and you click OK. Now it start downloading the video. Whatever you search in here, when you click on that, it will automatically be open with this app. It is a replacement to the uTorrent app but it is all in one with uTorrent you can only use it to download the link of uTorrent but with this app you can download the link of uTorrent or you can download YouTube video and last but not least you can also use it to download any link of any any app that you want to download let's say I want to download my iPhone 7 IPSW file so you click here if you start downloading here but you just click copy the address go back here click add click ok here it will add that to here and you can download it again it's just a great download manager you can put any download link to here and it will download in one place it's easy for you to control your download files and also if you go to preference you can set the maximum active task to one to two to five or six it's up to you and again you can pause and resume at your own time it's really convenient so this is fox Let's move on to app number two. For app number two, it is called Mac Booster 5 here. So unfortunately, you cannot find this app from the App Store. You want to purchase it, you have to go to this app's official website, this website. So unfortunately, this app is um, quite expensive. It costs $59.95 but you can use it for three people, up to three Mac. And the main function of this app is to boost the performance of your Mac. This app will optimize your Mac by deleting and removing malware and viruses on your Mac. As you know that Mac computer is usually not easily affected by viruses, but as of 2017, it's possible that there are viruses for Mac, but you don't know it yet. So to prevent unknown viruses that would attack your Mac, this app will help you delete those viruses or malware. The way. So to delete those, you just scan here, click scan. If you start scanning for viruses and other problems, it also help you deep scan your Mac to free up your Mac hard disk drives as well. Okay, now the scanning is complete and you can see it says system status dangerous. You can fix 61 issues to improve your max performance. And you can see here, this is security risk. I have two issues and I have 1.1 gigabytes of space that I can free up for the performance of my Mac. There are 59 issues. So I just click fix the problem here. It will start fixing all these problems for me. If it is the first time for you to install this app, 
when you click fix for the first time it will ask you this question you just type in your administrative password okay now say system status good congratulations you have fixed all the issues and another thing that you can do with the app is you can also use it to uninstall any unwanted application as well and you also can use it to clean large applications the application or the apps that use up too much space on your disk you can also delete it through here as well basically this app is very similar to clean my mac 3 it's very similar the feature but this app has a better function a function that clean my mac 3 doesn't have for this one here is virus and malware scan clean my mac 3 doesn't have this feature but mac booster 5 has this function so it's better to have this because it will help you remove any virus or malware also you can also delete the cookies or your browsing history from your internet browser apps like safari chrome as well if you tick all of these it will start cleaning like there are 57,000 files that i can clean if you click clean so when i click clean it will ask me to close because right now i'm running safari if i want to clean it i have to close it first so now it becomes zero it clean all the files same with google chrome let me delete this first clean now done another thing is also you can find the duplicated files in the finder as well if you have duplicated files in your finder this app also will be able to detect that and help you delete it so here it tells me that i have this video in two places you can see it's number two so you can delete one select the one you want to delete you can see it helps you find duplicated files on your finder so this app is very useful for you this is app number two let's move on to app number three for app number three it is called app delete here it's just simple very small app this is an uninstaller for mac it is an uninstaller app but it's not like a normal uninstall app it will not only remove applications but also widgets preferences pants plugins along with their associated files because if you use your normal uninstall or remove procedure that you just move an application like if you use this way you want to uninstall an app you either right click here and move it to trash to uninstall an app or you can drag and drop here like you drag this and drop in the trash it will uninstall that application but by doing that it won't completely uninstall that app because its associated files are still left behind which will take up space and potentially cause issues to your mac later that's why you need this app delete file the best thing about app delete is that it allows you to select multiple apps to uninstall at the same time which is very convenient and cool to use i show example here usually with with some other uninstaller apps you can only uninstall one app at a time but with app delete you can uninstall multiple apps at a time for example like i have this app just tick the app that you want to uninstall i have this app here this app here so i want to uninstall three apps just tick there and click search here so it will start searching for all associated files related to these three applications here this one for the first one chronicle second one third one to remove it you just click delete and it will ask you to type in the administrator password just type it in done now it is in the trash so this is app delete let's move on to another application app number four is called cloud tv here behind the screen so what is cloud tv so what this app does is it allows you to watch various tv channels on your mac for free so it's like watching tv on your mac this is how you can watch tv on your mac and it's for free but it it's for free it means you can watch any channels for free but for this app you have to pay for it it costs them um, 11 dollars to buy this app cloud tv but it can be used up to five users so five users for 11 dollars it's very cheap and to buy this app you have to go to its website it's not available in app store you go to this website cloud tv app.net here so the price of this app is $11 and you can use it up to 5 users and you can watch a lot of channels like you can see I am watching right now they have ABC News, Bloomberg, CBS one thing I want to tell you is that some TV channels are only geographically 
supported which means you have to be in that country to watch the channel available in there that's the one drawback of this app which means if you're not living in the US the channels that are available in the US you cannot watch but if you are in the US you can watch those channels like I am not currently in the US so if I try to watch let's say geographic if you say this program is unavailable outside of the designated market so only if you are in the US you can watch this but some channels that are available worldwide you can watch like ABC <laughs> but look at all the stuff you're doing Frankenstein's coming up and you and Penelope did um, Escobar. Escobar yeah so there you are another really great humanitarian yes <laughs> yeah if you change the channel to Bloomberg uh, that uh, that have been enacted I would say as it relates to uh, tech innovation and the innovation economy uh, we really haven't gotten much of a clear message from this new administration about what uh, the so the clarity of uh, the video quality depends on your internet connection if you have fast internet connection you also can watch HD video quality as well let me try another one <laughs> He just, he had so much love and affection to show for me that I had no idea until I finally got to see him. He had so much love and affection to show for me that I... For some channels, they have subtitles. For some, they don't have. Like this channel, NASA, I can watch it as well. It's worldwide. Chemistry and the optics. And that continues to give us data of what's happening with those ecosystems that we studied on the ship and then left behind. How did this project start? You know, the names project kind of started from space and worked its way down to the ocean. Actual cold we're meeting, uh, complete update as to what's going on. Have the attackers been identified? Are there potential follow-on attacks? Uh, is there an international uh, nexus with either Islamic State, Al-Qaeda, or another organization? Uh, have these individuals traveled abroad uh, as foreign fighters in the last five years? And then, of course, what are the next steps for the British government? Do they raise the threat level? They have to reassure the public that they have control of the situation and that it is important to go on with as you can see again a lot of channels it's supported but some only you have to live in that country to be able to watch the, those channels and to add new channels just click here at the bottom you can click on this to add more channels and for most asian channels it's supported a chinese channel most channels in asia it's support you can click here and try to find those and australian channels i think with the new update it also supported for australia channel but unfortunately for the american channels like this Gallery channel or Disney channel or Cartoon Network at one support only if you are in that country but most of the channels are supported and again it's free and you can watch it anywhere you want to as long as you have internet connection you can watch live TV channels again you just buy it one time and you can use it up to five people just $11 it's very cheap so this is app number four let's move on to app number five for app number five it is called paste here so what this app does is it allows you to copy and paste more than 100 different clipboards. Usually you can only copy and paste one clipboard. If you copy the new clipboard, the previous clipboard will be forgotten automatically. However, with paste app, you don't have to worry about that because it has the ability to store more than 100 clipboards in its history so that you can select to use any of the clipboards easily. For example, here the clipboard that I copied is still there. Any clipboard you want to copy. For example, if we go to a website like I, I'm on the website and I want to copy this select command C when you click command C it, you will hear the sound at the moment and to see that clipboard you can either click here click show paste or you can click command shift V you click command shift V here this is a new one so to use any of the clipboard that you have copied at the moment just select on it and you need to click command C here Again, I want to copy another one like this one. Click on it, click Command C. You can use it. So it's very convenient. You can copy as many clipboards as you want. It will stay here. Usually, you can copy more than a hundred different clipboards, and it will always stay here. If you go to Preference, you can also add its capacity to more than 100 to 500 or unlimited. But uh, what I recommend it is 100 because more than 100, it would be too many to select you can change it to 50 or 10 is up to you so with this paste app you are able to copy multiple clipboards and then you can use it later it's very useful so this is app number five let's move on to app number six app number six is called one chat all in one messenger this one so because 
I put in the password that's why it asked me to type in the password this is very secure app I mean no one can access your chat because when they want to access it they have to type in correct password to set up that password at the moment you have to go to preferences you go to privacy here you can disable or enable it privacy you click disable and type in that password again so next time it won't appear any password for me to type in whenever i open this app it won't ask me to type any password but if i click enable whenever i leave this app to use another app or i quit this app and open it again it will always ask me to type in the password so this is very secure because sometimes you don't want to share any personal information or private chat with anyone like Taito says, this is all in one messenger, which means you can use it to chat on different social networking app messengers like WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger, Hangouts, Telegram, Skype, Slack, WeChat, and a lot more here. The other app like Telegram or Skype, you have to log in as normal, type in username and password. But for WeChat, you just use this code here. You open the WeChat in your iPhone. You will be able to connect between the two devices. Let me show you here. I have WeChat here on my iPhone. So to link the WeChat on your Mac and the WeChat on your iPhone, you just click on Discover on your iPhone and you click on Scan QR Code. It will allow to scan. When you use your phone to scan the code on the Mac, it will start connecting. Here, and say scan successful, confirm login on your mobile. And on my mobile, I have login, I just click login. Done. The same with WhatsApp. If I sign out here, here, you just use your WhatsApp to scan the same, it works very quickly. To scan for the WhatsApp, you just go to setting and you should try to find the word WhatsApp web desktop and you click scan code and it will scan quickly and log in quickly. That's very cool for WhatsApp and WeChat. I wish that other app would do the same in the future. You can see I can use WhatsApp, Messenger, WeChat, any other app that I want to. So just all in one here. Very easy, very convenient. But the thing is, because this is only for chatting, not for voice conversation or voice chat. So when I click, if I want to call using this app, it doesn't work. If I try to call here, it will redirect to open a, a web browser. It won't allow me to call because the purpose of this app is only to chat by sending messages, not to talk uh, with your voice. But it's very convenient, just all in one place. It's very easy. And again, you can protect this by setting password to it. Like I just said at the moment. Click submit. Now it's done. Again, whenever you go to another app, I want to go back to this here, you see? It will ask me to type in the password. If I type in the wrong password, I cannot access it. That is the app number six. Let's move on to app number seven. App number seven is called Win Clone Pro. Here, click agree. No thanks, get started. So, you can see the title of the app, say Win Clone, it win and mean Windows. So what this app does is, it allows you to clone your bootcam partition of Windows operating system to an external hard disk or to another partition or flash drive. So like, you're using your Mac, not just only one Mac OS, but you also use Windows PC on it as well. So you create bootcam to install Windows on it. And you also want to keep that bootcam partition, like sometimes you want to delete it and install it again. But with this app, you can clone it easily. So to clone the, the bootcam partition, you have to create a bootcam and install the window on that bootcamp and then when you come back here you can clone so that is app number seven let's move on to app number eight app number eight is called audio hijack As its name suggests its main function is to steal any audio from your mac when i say it's steal because some audios is almost impossible to record like if you want to record audio from your applications sometimes the sound from the application you want also to record that sound but without proper tool you cannot record it also voice chat like you're having conversation on facebook messenger and you want to record the voice usually if you use other recording apps it only records the sound coming out through your mac microphone so when the sound is coming out of your microphone it will start recording that sound back into that app and usually making the sound unclear or distorted to listen to but with this audio hijack app it records the sound from inside 
the Mac, making the audio quality clear and the sound is almost like the original sound. This app is especially useful when you want to record your voice conversation on Skype or Facebook Messenger because it would record from inside, which means the sound is very clear. Also, with some apps like Spotify, if you are not a premium member of Spotify, it won't allow you to download any music offline. You can only listen to music, but you cannot download it offline to listen later. But with this app, you can record the music on Spotify app and save it as MP3 so that you can listen to it offline later. Let me show you example. So to record, you just click recordings here, click new session, and they have choices here. This one is application audio. If you want to record um, applications audio, if you want to record like conversation on Skype, you have to click on voice chat here. But because I want to record application audio, I click this, click choose, and here you click on because the, the default one is iTunes. Click on here, and you can change it to any applications you want to record. I want to record Spotify. Click on Spotify. If you take this out by deleting this, you will not hear the sound. Which means when you play this, you will hear the output sound. If you delete this, it will only go into the recording. It will not produce any output sound. But if you put this, which means it also record and you can listen to that sound as well. So by clicking this here, you can choose the sound quality that you want. Save to here. If you don't know where the audio hijack is, just click other so that you can save to other place. Like I want to save it to desktop, click choose. Now, let me open my Spotify app. So let's see if I, I want to listen to this one and also want to record it. Just play. You need to click this one first to record. Click on this. And now you go back and play here. music here so let's say I record it there and then want to stop just stop here and again that file is already saved to the desktop let's open it here so this is the recording at the moment when you click stop it will save the file and let's play it together I cannot play the whole music here so let's say I record it there and then want to stop just stop here and again that file is already saved to the desktop let's open it here so this is the recording at the moment when you click stop it will save the file and let's play it together As you can see, the sound quality is very clear, there's no distortion in the sound, it's just perfect app to record any audio coming out of your Mac. That is app number 8. Let's move on to the last app, it's called MP3 Music Converter here. As its name suggests, you can convert any audio file to any other audio file. The most common audio file extension that people mostly convert to is MP3 and M4R. So you can see here, you can have a variety of audio extensions that you can convert to. But the most famous and the most popular extension that people usually convert to is MP3. And the other one is M4R. You don't know what is M4R, it is iPhone ringtone. So some music you want to use it as your iPhone ringtone, you have to convert it to M4R. So if you want to convert to M4R, just select there. And if you go to settings here, preferences, convert. So this is the number of files that you convert at a time. You want to convert like five files at a time, click five. It will convert five files simultaneously at the same time. You want to convert like one, just click one. And for the output, usually it will be selected by default, which means the folder of the file that you want to convert, after it converts, it will save in that folder, the same folder as the original file. Let me add some files here. So like, so right now I have a lot of MP3 here. I want to use this as my ringtone. Just select how many you want, click open. 
and all of these will be converted into m 4 all and if you want to merge all of these together you click merge here it will merge all of them together as a single file but if you don't you want separate file